Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Linux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And um, uh, you're, you're, you're probably noticing that something is different uh, because there's no face cam. And uh, the reason for that is very simple. I'm uh, recording this on my laptop. I forgot, um, or my laptop only has two USD, USB ports and I need three um, for, for either my mouse, my microphone or my webcam. Um, so I chose to, 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 to let out my, um, or to leave out my webcam. So there's that, but all right, <laughs> we have enough to talk about, all right? And if you're new to the channel, you don't even notice the difference. So maybe maybe some of you like it even better, perhaps. Uh, so we'll talk about Bitcoin, it's needed. Um, somewhat of an emergency update overnight, it rallied massively, all right? Here you can see, um, or at least I'm saying overnight, but it actually looks like, no, it was actually overnight, or at least for me, uh, it depends on your time zone. I mean, this was uh, either very early in the, early in the morning in Asia, um, and it's also, I mean, I mean, it actually is Asia that, that's pushing the price up. I mean, if we take a look at this move, for example, uh, right here, that was actually very early, but um, then, then some of the other moves we had, for example, this push above 30,000 up towards that 31,000 level uh, was also pushed by Asia. So it's interesting to see. Maybe it's actually, it, it, it's, it's actually Asian money getting into the markets. It's a possibility. Uh, could also be very, very late in the US, doesn't matter, all right? <laughs> the, the market is what it is. Uh, and uh, and yesterday we kind of jokingly to uh, talked about going up to 34 and 35,000 with Bitcoin because it was showing a lot of momentum still. I did not expect that, all right? I, I just didn't. I, I, think most, um, I think most people did not expect something like this. Perhaps you could have expected it. I think the main cataclysm behind this bullish momentum is the news around ETFs uh, and BlackRock potentially already buying some, some Bitcoin to fill up their ETFs, etc., etc. All right. I think that's the main reason behind this move. Uh, and the first thing we have to talk about, of course, and it, um, it feels a bit weird doing this without Facecam, but all right. Um, the first thing we need to talk about is this, the bull market that's starting. Um, and personally... I'm of the opinion that that is not the case. Uh, if you take a look at these moves right now, it's very much still in line with this market structure that we've been we've been forming since the beginning of this year. All right, and now we also have some very bullish fundamentals leading into the next year, uh, which causes even more bullish momentum. So that could also cause us to go up to this level right here between 36 and 37,000, uh, which is the next resistance uh, resistance level slash price target. And then afterwards, um, we could even talk about 40 and 41,000, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, the main reason why I do not think this is the, this is the start of the bull market yet, it could turn into that, but I don't think it's yet. Um, the main reason for that is that I don't see enough hype or enough bullish sentiment outside of crypto. All right, you need that. You need retail because right now, it's probably funds or traders with a lot of money positioning them, th themselves in the markets. But you really need retail to push Bitcoin up to a new level. And that, at this point of time, I don't think is there yet. Now, does that mean it will not come yet? Um, no, it, it, it's a possibility that in December and January of next year, the bull market is starting. But for now, I think it's too early to say that. Um, and then technically, like I said, I mean, it's it's hard to analyze Bitcoin right now because technically it still is very, very bullish. Now, 34,000 and 35,000 is a strong resistance level. Uh, and what you just saw, the volume for Bitcoin is absolutely crazy. It's around $50 billion right now. And then you can also see that the open interest uh, has been growing still, or at least it has dropped down a little bit overnight, but still doesn't matter. Most of these buys are actually on spot. Um, so yeah, it's still very bullish and therefore I, I kind of have to uh, say that Bitcoin... Okay, so the recording cut out because for some reason I also don't have any more disk space, so I had to uh, delete some things. Uh, but what I said very briefly is that at this point in time, like there's no indication that Bitcoin is going to turn bearish soon. Uh, so it still looks most likely that it will continue up to 36,000, 37,000. Uh, but since the market is this volatile and therefore unpredictable, um, it's best to just wait for some, some confirmation because at some point of time, Bitcoin will re retrace, right? It will drop down, consolidate, and then from that consolidation, uh, we'll see what's going to happen. So in my eyes, we'll kind of have to wait for that. Either a bullish breakout above preferably 35,000, but I, I would say 34,500 is also enough, or below 33,500. Because if it drops down below 33,500, uh, 33, 
then we're going to get a retracement and that consolidation at the current resistance level and i cannot tell you what is most likely all right it's just because of the volatility like i said and the unpredictability um it's hard to say i would say wait for that confirmation um and if i would have to give you my my thoughts i would say it's most likely that it will continue uh, because like i said at this moment we haven't seen anything at any any bearish confirmation yet all right uh so wait for the confirmation I'll keep you updated on, on the fundamental situation on Bitcoin and, uh, and the technical situation, of course. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.